Hi guys, I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be on the new KVD Good Apple Serum Foundation. I have it in the shade Tan 72. So if you want to know my thoughts, what I think of this foundation, how did it apply the coverage, did I get the right color, and all of that good stuff, make sure you keep on watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I'm starting off with my e.l.f. Cookies and Dream Primer paired with my e.l.f. Power Grip Primer along with my Revolution Pro Blur Line and Wrinkle Filler from my Smile Lines. Today's foundation is the KVD Good Apple Serum Foundation and I have it in the shade Tan 72. I'm going to step in right quick in the beginning I'm doing this voiceover because of course I thought my microphone was on and it was not on so I was talking but I left the clip in because it was my initial first reaction and nothing beats a first reaction like I couldn't record it again and then have the same reaction as I did the first time so I'm just doing a voiceover over the first foundation part and then I noticed that my microphone is off so I jump in turn it on and then we start having a conversation about the foundation I don't know <clears throat> I don't know why I never look at my microphone but anyway here we go okay so I'm talking about the foundation here and I'm giving y'all all the claims showing you the bottle yeah I think the bottle is fancy I think a lot of brands are up in their game on their packaging making their packaging worth the price because you know at one point everything looked cheap all the packaging looked cheap and it's like I'm paying $40 for a foundation and it's in a plastic plain bottle with a wrapper on it but now I notice that most brands are paying detail to that so I'm showing you the shade and the shade seems to be promising my only issue with this foundation was I had such a hard time online picking my shade even though they gave like picture references it was just so hard for me to pick my shade so i'm swatching it here like we always do to show you all how it looks you know on one side first and so far you know the like i said the shade looked promising it didn't look like i was going to have to mix any of my pigment with it to make it work sprayed some of my nyx spray and went in and went in with one of my she glam brushes to blend it out and as you can see the shade it's blending quite well into my skin i was surprised believe me <laughs> i was surprised with those three swipes i think that was probably one pump so three swipes and look at the amount of coverage that it gave me it covered any dark marks that i had i didn't color correct and this shade says that it has a bronze undertone which is different from me because i never heard of a bronze undertone so here i am showing you all the coverage of it and reading the claims, of course, which you can't hear me. It's a full coverage foundation. <laughs> it's a full coverage foundation. But when I come back in and start talking, then I'm gonna you're gonna hear all the claims again. Once I realize that my microphone is not on, but I wanted to show you all, you know, when I first applied it, how it looked on my skin. And I'm going to tell you in a second, I'm going to show you side with foundation, side without foundation. And you can see it's a major, major difference. I was so amazed at how full coverage it is without, was without any color correcting or any of that. As you can see, it's actually really beautiful, really beautiful. So then we're going to do the other side. I just I love when I found a foundation that exceeds my expectations. Like my expectation was like blah, only because I didn't enjoy the balm um, KVD foundation. So I really didn't have any high hopes for this one. And it shocked me. Shock value out the roof. It did that. So I'm just still blending that side in and just really, I really wanted to show you all how it blends into my skin. And if you use me for a foundation reference, okay, notice the microphone was off. Here we go.
Okay, I've been talking all this long time and my microphone was not even on. So, <laughs> I got the KVD Good Apple Full Coverage Transfer Proof Serum Foundation. It, it comes in 40 shades. I got it from Ulta for $42. And I have this shade Tan Deep 72. Make sure. Tan Deep 72. And let's see what... For a tan to deep skin with neutral bronze undertones. I can't believe it. I was talking all this time. Something told me to look up on the cup, and it's like the microphone not on. So this says that it's a full coverage with a natural finish, transfer proof, extreme long wear with a lightweight serum feel. It covers everything from blemishes to acne scars, hyperpigmentation, discoloration, and more. You've never seen a natural full coverage foundation like this. It took me so long to pick up this foundation because I was so unsure of what shade to get and my Ulta did not carry it. So I didn't want to go through the hassle of ordering it. If it didn't work, taking it back to Ulta, da 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 da. So I waited for a while to see if they were going to get it. I was in there the other day and they still didn't have it. So that's when I ended up ordering it. I'm going to take my damp car beauty sponge. And the shades were kind of like hard because like I told you, this uh, this shade right here says that it's for tan to deep skin with neutral bronze undertones. And that was my first time ever really hearing a foundation that had bronze undertones. So I was scared. And then the models online are not really like a true, you know... You can't really get a true picture of it. You know, it looks one way online, but of course, a picture is a picture. So, I don't know. It was hard. So, this is how my face... Mm, that's full coverage, huh? Yeah. I think the shade is good. That cover... I only use a little bit. So, this is a very full... It's very lightweight. I don't feel anything on my skin. My skin is not weighed down, but this is full coverage. I usually like go in with a little bit of more, a little bit of more, a little bit more foundation, like right in this area, but I don't need it. Like this is full coverage. Not even on my forehead. I just took what was ever left on the brush or whatever. And then if I have a little spot, then I'll just go over it. But it even covered up the discoloration on my chin. Hmm, that's real coverage. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'll get a concealer. I'm going to use my Neutrogena, Neutrogena Radiant Creamy Concealer in 01 Medium Golden. Yeah, Medium Golden to highlight with. It's a natural finish, not matte, not dewy. It's like in between. It's very natural. But I'm surprised right now of how full coverage it is. Hmm. This right here will be my initial just reaction to the foundation. Because I'm not going anywhere today. So one day I'll come back when I'm going to work. And we can do a wear test. But today is just, I had to hurry up and get my hands on it. I'm going to contour with my Thread Beauty in 210. I remember my first purchase from back then it was Kat Von D, but it was the Lolita a lip liquid lipstick. That was going crazy. Like everybody had that Lolita lipstick. I had matter of fact I probably still got it even though y'all know that thing out of date. Well yeah that was my first thing along with that full coverage foundation. 
Now, I want to say I was in 74, or if not 76 in that. I know it was 70-something. I just can't remember what. But KVD makes some really good stuff. I'm a fan of their liquid um, eyeliner, their pencil, their like, gel. What do you call it? Wing eyeliner. I like it. It's expensive. I had a sample one time, and it's expensive, but it's nice. Spray and blend. I'm real late with this, uh, with this review on this, cause I hadn't made up my mind on if I was gonna get it but I'm glad I did <laughs> right off the bat like right now <laughs> I'm glad I did And I'm going to take my Morphe Banana Rich to set this concealer. The eyeshadow, I'm going to do a, another video on it. It's the Be Perfect Retro Love Palette. Is that what the name of it is? Yeah, Retro Love. I was just playing in color every day. Y'all know how I do on the weekend. much more lines. And we're getting ready to bronze with Now I'm going to use my Makeup Forever in Y505. Let's get this. Oh I use my Rare Beauty Blush in Grace. I'm going to spray our face. Okay, we made it back with the Good Apple Serum Foundation in Tan 72. And this is how my face is looking. I think the color match is good. It's very lightweight. It is so full coverage <laughs> if you're looking for a full coverage foundation then this without 
having to use a lot of product very little product is needed it's full coverage the minute you apply it to your face yeah it's full coverage the color is okay i'll come back later this week and we'll do a video and then i'll do a wear test but like i said i'm not going anywhere today and this is how it's looking my neck the foundation it doesn't feel like sticky or anything on my face I don't feel sticky all my normal products settle nicely on top of it let me see if it transferred nothing came off on the napkin okay so yeah this is how it's looking if you have this foundation if you've already tried it drop down and let me know your thoughts on it i'm very interested but as of right now it looks really good it looks really good i can't wait to do a wear test on it but this is just the initial review i like it so far yeah <laughs> If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you share, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.